Hey, welcome back to Dear Twin Flame. It is Monday night and it's been a very full day, but I'm home and um, I just wanted to talk about today because it was a weird day. It was a good day, but it was a weird day. Um, how to explain? I'm just trying to be real. I'm trying to be honest and... Yeah. So, um, went to London and we drove by your work site and I know you were there. I don't know. It, it's really weird feeling because It's like my whole entire body just wants to stop and find you and be in your presence. And that sounds really weird, but it's, it's, it's my truth. And when I feel like that, I tend to get in my head a little bit and every song on the radio gets in my head a little bit and it makes it really hard to focus on... Um, I don't know, it gets hard to trust my truth, if that makes sense. It makes me overanalyze things. It makes me think that or it starts just running a rampant fire of questions in my head. Like, does he think I'm crazy? Does he just laugh at these videos? And does, if he's watching these videos, why isn't he? Why isn't he reaching out? Because he's obviously, you know, interested enough to watch the videos all the time. Um, What would be wrong with just stopping and saying, hey, what would be wrong with just stopping and saying, I just need a hug? Um, How would he react? Would he shove me away? Um, There's all these ifs. And And when I get all these ifs in my head or questions in my head or second guessing myself in my head, then I tend not to follow the things that I I feel I need to do. I don't know. It's, It's really a weird place to be in. So after having such an awesome weekend full of clarity and, you know, next steps moving forward, I come to today and then I was like, oh, I really want to do this, but oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't rock the boat. He'll, he'll call when he, when he's ready. He'll make contact when he's ready. And my head says, maybe you just need somebody to step in. And then my, my heart says, don't wreck it. And it's just this battle of, and I don't know where I, I don't know which is ego and which is truth. And it's so, so very frustrating. It's so very frustrating. So, yeah, that was my day. So then I got home and I'm like, okay, I have an idea. So in the car, I come up with all sorts of ideas. And not ideas into how to stalk because that's just not cool and it's not who I am. But more just ideas to give my twin flame options to okay I will be in this place if you're interested show up or I'm gonna host a zoom meeting if you're interested it will just be you and me and I will give you the password on the I don't know this on this video I don't know you can join if you want to and then put the choices back into my twin flames hand but then I think, oh, you're being stupid again. And I battle back and forth. And it's very frustrating because it's not what I want my brain focusing on. I've got a lot of other things I could be focusing on. It's the damn car rides and the being in your general vicinity that just mess with my head. And so then I get all these great ideas. And, and but then I second guess, okay, is this ego getting in the way? Or is this the path that I'm supposed to be pushing? Or, you know, oh, what do I do? So I drew some cards because, you know, sometimes when I just want spirit to 
be a little clearer or ask a yes no question I'll pull out the pendulum or I'll pull out my cards and I pull out my cards today and I said okay I'm only pulling four cards so tell me what I need to know spirit universe fill, fill me up with all the information I need four cards because if you give me more I'll overthink it <laughs> so I pull four cards and this is my four cards I pull the sun which is success and everything rosy in the world. I pull the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, same deal. And then um sorry, somebody's texting and it's popping up in my screen. Um so I pull the sun and then I pull the Wheel of Fortune, which is again success, all things good. And then temperance, which is have patience. <laughs> And then the star, which is, so first of all, they're all the, you know, top end cards. And they're all like the best possible cards you can get in the deck. So that tells me that I'm like all these, that all these ideas in my head are good ideas, but damn, I (laughs) still... That I'm following my path. That I'm doing as I'm supposed to do. But patience. Going to be my kicker. Always. Always is my kicker. Patience. Because I don't know what I'm being patient for. I'm still moving forward. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I still have lots of on the go. Patience for my twin flame. Okay. But it also says to push through on my on my ideas and you know don't be pushy but to sorry don't be pushy to have patience but to move ahead with my ideas which is really a mixed bag of messages and it's frustrating so that was my day and then tonight I had a whole conversation with my son because he was he made the comment I've been wrestling with the so my ex was here I talked to this about I talked to you about this already my ex was here on the weekend he was here for a long time it's always very bizarre when he is here because it is very clear why we are not together although we never fight ever fight but his his way of seeing the world and his ideas and not his ideas there's lots we get along like we raise our kids the same way. Like, we don't fight about how we raise the kids. We don't fight about anything. But his his purpose in life and his, his deems or his checklist for success are very, very, very different than mine. And, and his way of dealing with his demons or, you know the traumas or the disappointments in life is not to look and see how they've blessed him but to just put them in a box and shove them away and hope that they stop having an effect and the more he does that the worse it gets and he's I don't mind having a drink every once in a while I quite enjoy it actually got out some pretty old brandy the other night and it was very tasty but I don't drink it to run away from my world I have a drink to enjoy my world to say I appreciate this and this made my taste buds very happy I don't look for a bottle to make everything go away so I don't have to deal with it and since he's left he does that exponentially more and so when he comes here he's just always drinking and it's it's not like a drunk he's not slobbering drunk but he's always drinking and he's always he's either drinking or sleeping and it's weird it's just weird anyway um it's just a weird situation to be in and 
I always question whether I'm doing right by, you know, letting him spend all this time here. But I really don't care if he's here. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't upset me. It's just, it, it makes my kids happier because they don't have to leave me. Um, gives them time together. And a lot of times it gives me a break to do, have my space, which is nice. But it's just an odd situation to see him through my eyes now. Whereas before I would have been trying, first of all, I would have taken it upon myself that his behavior and his disappointment in the world was my fault in some way, or that I was responsible for trying to make him happy in some way. And now I don't, I just don't believe that. I don't, everybody's responsible for their own happiness in my opinion. Um, if you can share your happiness with others, that's great, but it's not, it's not my work to fix him for him. He's going to do that himself, um, which he has no interest in doing whatsoever. Um, but we just look at the world so, so, so differently. He's just so angry and he's so given up and he can't find... Every, every discussion is a criticism and every, I don't know, it's just, it's just a really, it's just a sad place to see him in, I guess, but, but it's, my world's, my world's good, so it's, it's just weird, it's weird, you know, I don't know, it's weird, anyway, he's gone now, so there's that. And then, so anyway, he's gone now. And then my son was saying today how he sees that he is a, you know, balance of the two of us. Or uh, he he's beginning to see the pieces of his dad in himself and pieces of me in himself and pieces of one of his favorite coaches in himself and and he sees how the influences that we've all had on his life. And, um, but he thinks he's going to grow his dad because the only things that he relates to his dad with are things that him as a 16 year old can relate to, but um, he figures he'll grow out of that. <laughs> so that was kind of sad to hear too. But when we were talking about that, I was like, so what did you get from me? And he's like, well, your academic skill. I'm like, oh, okay. And just some other things. But I said, but we look at the world very differently. I see how you look at the world very individualized. And I don't do that. So, like, with his dad, it's about him first. And then the community you know whether it's the family or the community at large or the province or the country or whatever but it's it's him first he comes first always and that's not how I've ever worked because I just don't feel that I feel so connected to everybody and everything I feel connected to you know nature I feel connected to people I I feel everybody's emotions um it's hard or it it's just not in me to see myself um, more important than anybody else and this course that I was doing on the weekend really drummed that home is that separation of self from community that our our ancestors you know were able to build what they did because they worked as a community and not as an individual and our world just doesn't work like that anymore and when people are asked to think of the community at large you know whether it be masks or self-isolation or Pick, pick an issue they get irate about it they get defensive they get angry they get um you can't tell me what to do it's my life and I'm you know I'm the king of my domain and I just I don't I just can't think like that and and I hope maybe as a 16 year old he'll outgrow that self-centeredness a little bit but we'll see anyway um, it's been a really, really interesting weekend and day. And, you know, every time I have a question, the universe just says, oh, here you go. <laughs> Here's some confirmation for you. But I still have a lot to share about the um, 
shamanism segment. I'm still, I just have so many notes and so many things in my head that I, I really can't wait to share. It's just, there's so much I don't even know where to begin. And I want to go back through and say, this was a point I wanted to share. And this was a point I wanted to share, but I'm sure you'll notice as I carry on that things come up because it's just, it really, really made an impact. I, I can't even, I can't even begin to explain the clarity that it offered. It wasn't really um, new ideas for me. It was just a clarity of this is, this is my truth and this makes sense and this is why it makes sense and it, it was just, it was, it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. So, um, I suppose I will leave this at this point. Um, I don't know what else to say other than it was really hard driving by today. And I wish there was some way you could give me a sign that would say, you know, I'm glad you didn't stop or I'm, <laughs> I wish you had stopped because I really, I just have, one of the things that came up when we were driving around was I wish I could tell you that I I want to say I have all these questions which I know I've stated before but I want to say like I want to record I have this question for you and this question for you and this question for you and if I see you I will sit there I promise I will sit there and not say a word and I won't talk I know I talk when I'm nervous and seeing you makes me really nervous because I don't want to fuck it up um but if if it means you'll like answer some questions I'll write them down I'll record them whatever I mean I sit there buttoned and not say a word I just want to hear what you have to say I want to hear I want to hear um if you think I'm crazy I want to hear if any of this resonates with you I want to hear you know what you're drawn to um what if anything of all these recordings that I've posted um has you know made a difference or you are just like yeah Jen you're you're out you're out to lunch on that one um I just want to hear your side of things. I want to know what's going on in your world. I want to know, um, you know, what you did this last weekend. Or, you know, what do you plan for the summer, if anything. Or, 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 or so much, so much I just want to ask. And I wish there was a way that you could reach out to me to just let me listen for a change that would be awesome because I can do that <laughs> I really can I just feel like the, with me right making all these videos it's just me talking all the time so and I know the last time I saw you I talked too much and I should have listened more and I'm working on calming those nerves enough to be able to do that We're coming up to 20 minutes, so I'm going to sign off. But just know, as always, dear Twin Flame, you have all my love for all my life. <laughs>